Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, our, our last uh, presenter is Hidenori from uh, uh, GSI Japan. Uh, he will introduce design uh, and development of UN Vector Tile Toolkit. Please welcome him with big hands. Okay, yes. Uh, thank you, he uh, Hegyam. Uh, so I would like to talk about uh, UN Vector Tile Toolkit today. And yes, my name is Hidenori Fujimura, and I'm working in yes, the Special Information Authority of Japan now. And uh, yes, regarding the co-author, actually I'm not alone. Uh, we are actually 10 co-authors. So regarding the co-authors, please refer to our papers. Yes, uh, we are actually from United Nations, uh, National Mapping Agency, and National Research Institute, and also private companies. We are uh, joining together uh, to solve the problem of vector tile toolkit in public organizations. Okay, yes. So at first, I would like to uh, share our vision. Uh, the, yes, uh, the thing is this, yes. Uh, we are thinking about uh, what if uh, the public organization uh, base maps are responsible like in video games. Then, yes, we have uh, more uh, active uh, application or if uh, there is some limited environment, uh, we have we will have some opportunity uh, to make the offline map. So such kind of thing is what uh, we are seeking. And uh, yes, uh, the maybe yes, yeah, I would like to say uh, public organization uh, also deserves the best web map technology. And uh, yes, open source is a kind of a method to unite the forces uh, of uh, public organizations because otherwise it is a little bit difficult for public organization to join forces. So yes, our product is actually twofold. Uh, one thing is the software itself uh, called UN Vector Tile Toolkit. Uh, this is to support uh, especially public organization to uh, produce or host or optimize vector tiles and style vector tiles. And the, uh, another uh, big product is actually the network of developers and operators uh, because yes, we can share the problems and we can share uh, uh, the actual solutions. So at first, I would like to talk about the software itself. But actually, uh, the software itself is not so very new because uh, we are using existing uh, open source software. We have already uh, several uh, very good software to produce vector tiles, but the problem is uh, it is a little bit too hard for public organization to make use of these existing software. So actually, we are using this kind of existing software. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Tipicano or Maputonic or uh, yes, vector tile optimizer developed by uh, Isaac uh, uh, from uh, Spain. So we are using uh, this kind of uh, very uh, excellent software. And uh, the problem is how we can make use of this software inside the public organizations. And uh, yes, in public organization, uh, there is actually many so, uh, different format, different uh, data. So the challenge is uh, how we can uh, work with diverse software, uh, sorry, diverse data and large data. So we need to work with uh, gigabytes or tens of gigabytes of data to produce our best map. And uh, yes, uh, this is more technology oriented things, but uh, we, uh, try to stick on to uh, stream-based uh, computing, computing model. By uh, using the stream-based computing model, we can uh, easily mix or fix or handle uh, the streams uh, concurrently so that we have more freedom to optimize the processing uh, to produce the vector tiles. And we uh, stick to use uh, the GeoJSON text sequence format uh, as a kind of wire format uh, to connect these existing software. And yes, this is major achievement uh, from our software. So the biggest thing is that we could produce uh, vector tiles of the globe uh, from UN internal post GIS base map data and using only single uh, map, sorry, uh, MacBook Pro. And yes, uh, maybe I need to explain what is a uh, UN uh, base map. Uh, UN base map is, yes, in this case, uh, 90% is actually the OSM data, and uh, other 10% is land use data or other POI data. So I would say maybe uh, this is a little bit more uh, from OSM data. So it's about uh, 50 gigabytes uh, covering the globe uh, if we use the PBA format. 
And the another thing is uh, the interoperability. If we, we use single uh, vector tiles, if uh, the vector tile is used by only one single uh, application, it is not so useful. But uh, we think that uh, we think that single vector tiles should be used by different uh, applications. So uh, we developed uh, some uh, interoperability layer uh, so that uh, we can use uh, these uh, vector tiles uh, from open layers or other yes, uh, commercial uh, libraries. But today, yes, I would like to focus on this, uh, the first thing, production of vector tiles uh, in yes, uh, 80 hours. Why uh, 80 hours? Uh, the speed is, is yeah, sorry, important uh, because uh, we need continuous update. update. Uh, we are uh, managing the base map data and the base map data are updated daily. So we need to uh, make the automatic and the continuous update of the, our base map. And in the public organization, uh, it is not so easy to get uh, plenty of computing infrastructure. So we need to reduce uh, the amount of uh, computing infrastructure we need to use. So efficiency is very important for our project. And yes, I would like to uh, share uh, three uh, measures I take uh, to uh, make the 80 hours update uh, possible. Uh, first one is very classic one. Uh, we divide and rule the data set. Uh, the uh, main data set is around uh, 50, percent, uh, 50 gigabyte, uh, but yes, handling 100 street on streams of one gigabyte is very easy uh, for by using the computer of uh, current generation. But yes, uh, single 100 gigabyte stream or uh, 10,000, uh, 10 megabyte stream is a little bit harder uh, to handle. So we choose uh, the Zoom level 6 module as a uh, basic module to produce the vector tiles and uh, so that uh, we can produce these modules uh, in parallel or in concurrent, concurrent manner so that uh, we can make use of the resource for I.O. or CPU uh, efficiently. So if uh, one task is working on uh, maybe exporting, importing uh, other uh, things, other uh, task is working on uh, creating vector tiles, uh, computing, so we can use uh, both I/O and the CPU concurrently. And yes, uh, another thing is also a very heuristic one. Uh, so if we see uh, the earth, uh, the seventy percent of the earth is actually ocean, and uh, we choose that uh, this module is uh, maybe uh, hundreds of kilometer per hundreds of kilometer, but. We actually checked uh, the data content itself, and actually, as more than uh, yes, sixteen hundred uh, modules are actually empty uh, in OSM data. So we just simply skipped these forty percent of the modules, uh, so that we can concentrate on the sixty uh, percent of the modules. So, and uh, this is the last one. So when we create uh, the vector tiles for each module, uh, we uh, extract data for these uh, uh, modules uh, from the Planet OSM data. But uh, scanning Planet OSM data is a very expensive one, so we make a kind of uh, meta module uh, to uh, make the extraction process uh, fewer. So we choose uh, to create uh, 12 uh, modules, and actually in the case of OSM data, OSM data is about 50 gigabytes, but uh, this uh, small area, number four and number five, it takes about 10 gigabytes. So world is not so equal uh, in the case of OSM data. So we carefully choose uh, this uh, meta module, uh, which is around 10 gigabytes, uh, so that uh, we can reduce the number of scanning uh, the planet OSM data. So this uh, makes uh, this uh, possible. So we created uh, vector tiles uh, covering whole the globe uh, within uh, 79 hours and 22 minutes. So yes, I was successful to make uh, it uh, possible. And uh, yes, uh, 80 hours in one PC, with one PC means maybe if we have uh, 10 instances, uh, then it will take just eight hours. So daily update will be possible, I think. Oh. 
And yes, uh, I would like to talk about the network of developers and operators. Actually, yes, as of now, we are a team of uh, developers and uh, service operators uh, from United Nations and the National Mapping Agency and uh, yes, OS JOJP and uh, yes, National Research Institute for Agriculture and uh, yes, uh, from uh, August, yes, uh, one engineer from Mapbox joined uh, this voluntary initiative. So yes, uh, we are actually very, uh, sorry, diverse uh, team uh, to create this uh, effort. And we are sticking to uh, tackling common problems because uh, we would like to make it open source project. Uh, so we carefully choose uh, very uh, common problems uh, like this. And also we are facing uh, these uh, new, uh, sorry, problems we need to take care of. So regarding uh, the first two things, uh, yes, uh, there is some uh, software to make vector tiles, but uh, we need to share the actual uh, know-how uh, to produce the actual vector tiles. And another thing is the interoperability. Someone says vector tile is useful, but uh, maybe it will not work with my software. So this kind of uh, uh, fear, uh, we have to solve this. Solve it, solve. And uh, yes, United Nations Secretariat and GSI, uh, National Mapping Organization of Japan, uh, shares a lot of knowledge and actually, yes, we have uh, produced the vector tile of uh, United Nations Secretariat, but as, uh, from National Mapping Agency of Japan, we started uh, vector tiles uh, from the end of uh, July. Uh, so yes, the classic topography map is now in uh, Mapbox vector tile specification, and we are doing some kind of experiment, experiment uh, with uh, these new services. And this knowledge will be shared uh, within uh, these teams and so that uh, we can contribute to the uh, better UN operations. So this is the uh, way we can go. And yes, uh, another thing is that uh, it is uh, still too hard uh, to share uh, how to uh, use this software. So, I mean, uh, I, we need to uh, have less steep learning curve. And the most uh, difficult thing is how we can prepare the infrastructure or OS or uh, compiler or this kind of thing. So, uh, we introduced some Docker environment uh, so that we can start uh, from uh, the working environment. And it will work with, uh, even with Raspberry Pi so that uh, we can have more opportunity for technology transfer or a demo or maybe hands-on. And uh, yes, uh, this hands-on material will be ready uh, in the middle of September in Phosphor-G Niigata. And yes, uh, we are trying to expand uh, this initiative uh, by making use of some uh, events uh, we have. So as a mapping agency, we have uh, some opportunity for UN conferences like uh, UN GGIM, and we have uh, some uh, Asian Pacific chapter or uh, yes, a working group on disasters. So making use of this opportunity, we would like to uh, share uh, this kind of uh, new technology uh, for the uh, use in public organizations. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so thank you. Uh, it's very interesting. I think also useful. Uh, my question is because you didn't speak about the license. So which is the license you will make available uh, this okay. uh, software? Yes, uh, yeah. As far as I know, uh, for example, Tipicanu or uh, yes, this kind of existing uh, uh, open source software is, of course, open source license like MIT or something. And uh, what we, I have developed, what we have developed is now under unlicensed, uh, that is a little bit less than the open source license, but maybe if it is necessary uh, to work on the OSG incubation process, maybe we need to a kind of upgrade to MIT license or something. Uh, in National Mapping Agency, we have some experience to work with a PSD license or such kind of license, so uh, we will be ready to uh, provide a proper license. Thank you. Okay, first. Yeah. Uh, How do you control? Oops, that was too close. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. okay. How do you control the data quality coming from OSM? 
Because okay. one thing is like, yeah, you can easily make mm -hmm. tiles, mm -hmm. but yep. there's also a lot of areas yes, yes, where yes, yes, that is you. not mapped. And how do you make sure that the users actually know that? Okay, mm -hmm. all these buildings are not mapped. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. So, yes, uh, we are working as a kind of uh, open source initiative called UN OpenGIS Initiative. And yes, uh, there is other uh, working group uh, working on the data quality issues. And uh, actually, my project is uh, focusing on the production of the vector tiles data. So, we are com uh, sorry, concentrating on the uh, pro process. So, maybe. The answer is that uh, things must be uh, processed outside uh, this project. Yeah, you can answer that. Uh, we actually had uh, some, uh, some presentation about the Guangdong initiative kind of something. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm chief of the UNGIS, and uh, we are working very closely all together. But there is another initiative, as a one map initiative. And also, we have our GIS center in Italy as a big uh, you know, center. We have a lot of good experts, so they are continuously improving and then opt and also contributing to the OSM data as well as that the real operation data and so on and so forth. So we like to build a more good mechanism, how we can actually build a more good quality of the data in general to be used by the public consumption. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and if you are uh, interested on that activity, uh, we call it one map. So he, there, Diego Gonzalez from the UNGS is here. Yeah, so you can call him and you know, talk much more. Yeah. Is there something, you know, Diego, you'd like to mention? It looks like all, all of us are working for the UN almost, ex <laughs> except <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so in, in Brindisi, we are also working on the data part. Um, we are actually creating what we call now the UN street map, um, which is really the equivalent to open street map, plus what um, Hidenori mentioned with this 10% of um, UN, only UN um, data. Um, <clears throat> and the reason is because we cannot use, obviously, open street map as such for a UN uh, mapping, mapping applications. We cannot rely on open street map for um, a spelling of uh, towns or villages or the, <clears throat> the boundaries of um, international um, countries. No? Um, so that has to be kept within the UN. And that's why <clears throat> we are trying to focus on the quality of the data specifically. And at this moment, in the areas of, of operations of the peacekeeping uh, missions. So mainly in Africa, um, Middle East, um, some parts of uh, Latin America. So that's, what, that's where we are um, focusing on, on a specific data quality. Um, we are also contributing to open, um, open street map, and we are um, adding, or we are trying to add quality data, and, and also the density of the data of, over those areas. So, yeah. And if I may, I would like to add some example from the Mapping Agency of Japan. So in the case of National Mapping Agency of Japan, uh, we think the vector tile as a kind of new uh, format for dissemination. So we provide our data, our so quality control data as a shape file as of now, but we need to add uh, some additional format. Uh, that is uh, the vector tiles. So we uh, already uh, have some procedure to, for quality control uh, before we change to the vector tiles. So that is the idea from the mapping agency. Thank you. Thank you. And we still have a five minute. Uh, is it OK? Yes. Thank you. Uh, so to what zoom level do you uh, generate the tiles? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me. Zoom level. Zoom level, yes, yes. Uh, the uh, maximum zoom level is, as far as I remember, is maybe 14. 14, yes. I started from 15, but I thought 14 is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any questions? I see none. Okay, if you have any questions. Oh. Among the, our, you know, member state and UN, that how we can really benefit to the public 
organization of the mapping agency of the countries and so on and so forth. For those who are actually working closely with the national mapping agency, particularly for the developing map countries mapping agency, please just share that this is a new technology that we are very much happy to be support and assist together with the, uh, the uh, GSI Japan. So, uh, so they can actually work together and then also building together and train them, but also uh, you know, continuously transfer the, the technology to the uh, developing country. This is one of the, our also uh, important uh, purpose. Thank you. So is there any questions to him? Sinan, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay.